so we're at West Shore Yacht Club. Very nice yacht club. Elevated concrete docks. I mostly work out here, but tons of mullet here, man. I'll tell you what, some part of the years, you can see a couple right there, but some part of the years you'll come in here and there must be 5,000 of them in here. You just wave your hand like that and they all jump. But anyways, take a walk with me. City of Tampa Police. And of course we're in Tampa Bay and the Bolts play game seven in New York tonight. So that'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to that game. But I'm working on a black hull, I think 56 foot C ray. Look at this. That's just horrible. He's not cleaning his out drives at all. They're horrible. Come on guys, keep up with your vessel. 86 C ray, maybe 90. Tierra. But it's just a pleasure boat. There's a Tampa Bay boat right there with a little tuna tower on top. Carver, not a big fan of Carver. And they kind of build them up too high so they're off balance. And there's a Cabo fishing machine. And another one lures other fishing machine outriggers on it. But we're going over to the big boys over there to E Dock. You can see a Lazera 80 footer right over there. The LSX1. That's a Lazera. About mm, $5 million. Six million dollars, something like that. And in this marina, there's tons of stingrays that just not real big ones, they kind of just swim around the top of the water. But you can see this black hull sea ray, and that's the vessel that we're going to work on. I thought I'd give you a tour of the cabin, it's spectacular, absolutely gorgeous. But who wants a black hull? And salt water sea spray just shows up big time here's the community it's gated got to go through guards to get in here I just got into it with the fitness director about where I parked but if you'll stay with me I'll show you uh, a very unique let's say um, wave runner All this water, probably the average depth is right around 10 feet. But in here it's a little deeper, maybe 25 feet in here. But out there, uh, anywhere from two feet to 10 feet. And you can see that big building over there. That's a uh, high and dry, meaning they pull boats out and put them on racks inside to keep them high and dry, a high and dry. Kayak storage for residents, boarding. Yeah, but these boats here are mostly 50 footers or more. There's a catamaran. You see the hole in the middle of it. another catamaran. They just handle the seas a lot better. You could be in 20 foot seas and it wouldn't it'd feel like 5 foot seas compared to a V-Haul. There's a Grand Turismo. They just did a whole upholstery change out on that with that brown upholstery. I've been working on it for two weeks. Not a big fan of Meridian either. There's that cat, and you can smell diesel right now. 
this big hatteras. Anybody could live aboard this and be comfortable. Big old hatteras. Look at this selling ship. This is the one I wanted to show you because the actual transom drops down. Look at that. See how it drops down and opens the whole stern up? And it exposes some propane bottles. But yeah, the whole transom just kind of drops down out of your way and becomes a dive platform and the whole stern's opened up. It's kind of cool. That's a big one. And there's not a system on board any of these vessels I can't repair, replace, or upgrade. Add redundancy. This looks like an old military ship. It's actually a wooden boat, board on board. I don't like wood boats. Just too much rot. You can see it. You can see the boards. You look for the seams. But anyways, I'll show you that jet ski. So there's a regular jet ski. Pretty cool. Little bumblebee. And this is the jet ski I wanted to show you. Oh, someone had their zincs replaced. I don't look too bad. But check this jet ski out. Is that not cool? The wheels come down and you can drive it on the beach. That is freaking cool. See? Uh, I doubt you've seen one of these. I've seen a couple of them. <laughs> I see the disc brake, it's all rusted out. <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea. But it's kind of cool. And it's made by Gibbs. But, anyways, let's get on board and I'll show you this boat. And you're going to absolutely love the interior. Of course, where I'm working is the motor room, a little less glamorous. All right, so there she is, 52 foot Sea Ray sedan bridge. See the fly bridge up there? Radar and TV, black hull, little sea dew on the back, which this whole dive platform actually lowers into the water hydraulically. Hey, how's it going? where I'm going to be working and I'll show y'all because this is a technical channel all right yeah I did thank you and this is the cabin feet main distribution panel it's pretty much what I manipulate when I get on board I turned on DC lighting 120 volt outlet plugs so here's the galley two isotherm refrigerators and then the salon wrap around couch then the dinette looking forward out the bow still looking forward we've got a couple of steps to go down and here's a little port side cabin looks like a queen size bed TV over there. Then we turn.
turn completely around starboard side bunks and they also have a TV and in each bunk then we step over here to this door and here's the head system and that's what I'm working on it's a push button vacuum flash with a VG4 pretty nice bathroom Let's see if I can turn on the light maybe I didn't turn this power on there we go oh, there I am sweating a little vanity the vacuum flush shower smells good in here candle in there let's turn this light off and then we move forward to the captain's quarters our matey let's find the light switch there we go and this is on the nose of the boat it's called the Ford v -Berth. very nice wood and he has a second master bathroom which this is the captain's bathroom all right and let's go crawl down into the into the motor room and I'll show you the system I'm working on I'm changing out four ductile valves per VG4 system and they're two inch most ductile valves are only an inch and a half so I gotta sit down here to get in you can see these are two big old Cummins big old diesels and I just replaced that raw water pump to the air conditioner and here's the pump relay box that goes with it I tested all the triggers they're good and then we move forward sea strainers for the engines He's got a PVC pipe on that seacock. He must have problems with it. And then on both sides, port and starboard, you'll see this white VG4, which is a vacuum generator fourth um, version. And what I have to do is dismount all these screws and pull this whole pump off. And there's two duckbill valves here, and there's two duckbill valves vertically right here. And these are the duckbill valves, what they look like. See, they open and close. They're super soft. That's why they're real susceptible to any petroleum products. So the only thing you clean your vacuum flush out with is mild dishwashing liquid. You can see there's the pressure switch right over there. And then I turn here, and there's an identical system right there. They are using black hoses. It's not a sea land hose, it's not a PVC hose, so these hoses will start to permeate because they're porous and it's not recommended to use black hose on a head system because within a year, year and a half, you'll start to smell those hoses. And if you've got any women on board, that's going to be a major problem for them. So, looking aft, there's this Jenny Onan. It's a big one. Looks like maybe 11 kW. Alright, well this is Bosserman Marine Services. No jobs too small nor too big. Uh, we can handle any kind of integrated system on board your boat. We'll answer any questions. I'll steer you in the right direction. Give us a call. Our phone number here is 727-521-1385. That's 521-1385. Hey, thanks for watching.